Welcome to another edition of Friday Extra. The weather is finally nice enough to be getting out and doing more walking outdoors without the fear of slipping on snow and ice. So today's segment is going to talk a little bit about some really simple warm-ups that you can do before you head out for a walk. I am guilty, as I'm going to guess some of you are, as I get my shoes on, I head out the door and I start walking and I don't think about taking those extra three, four, maybe five minutes to warm up a little bit before I walk. This is really good for your body, helps to stretch those muscles that you're going to be using on your walk so that you're not going to be unstable as you head out. First thing we're going to do is take in a couple of good breaths. So breathing in through your nose and out. Then we go out through pursed lips. Breathe in and in again. Try to fill all the way down to your belly and out. Those breaths are something you easily could do as you're even putting on your shoes. All right, next thing we're gonna do is warm up those calf muscles. Very important as we're walking. We're gonna start, and you can do these standing by a chair, by your counter, by the door before you head out, and rocking up on your toes, down and back on your heels. Again, up on the toes, and back on your heels. Let's do one more. Of course, you'll want to just repeat these a few more times, maybe five times each until you feel like those things, those muscles are really warmed up. Same thing for those calves is doing toe to heel and heel to toe walk. Now, I'm demonstrating this before I go out on my walk, but this next couple of exercises really could be something you could incorporate as you're starting your walk. Two. So to do that, then I'm going to start with a toe heel. So toe heel, toe heel. So you could be walking down the street and maybe that first couple of steps are going to be toe heel. I'm going to do that backwards just because again, I'm in front of the camera. I'm trying to save a little space. I'm going to do the same thing though. This time I'm going to leave heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe little harder to do backwards for that. So again, heel to toe walks, toe to heel walks, warming up those calf muscles. The next thing we're going to do is for the hips and that's just knee raises. Again, standing still if you choose to do that before you go out and it's just simply lifting each of those knees up, stretching that hip flexor. You can also do these as you're walking. So you can walk, two, three, lift, walk a few steps, and lift. You're just alternating which one you lift. One, two, three, lift. One, two, three, lift. All right, so again, working hips by just doing nice high knee raises. The next one is going to be a hamstring, stretching those hamstrings. Uh, we do this if you are a sail class participant, it's our heel raises. We call them butt kickers. We're going to do some of those to warm up that hamstring before we walk. Again, stationary, just alternating, lifting that heel and think of bringing that heel up. You don't have to bring it up super high. It really, if you bring it to a 90 degree angle, that's good. You should feel that stretch. This is another one that could be done as you walk. One, two, three, lift. One, two, three, lift. So again, demonstrating how you could really incorporate some of this stretching right into your walk. You know, if you don't mind, it looks maybe, if you're in a place where there's lots of people, it might look a little funny if you're walking along and lifting, but you're going to be a great example to people of how they should stretch uh, before they're walking. 
I would encourage you, make sure you really are utilizing that deep breathing even as you're walking. Sometimes we forget the importance of keeping our body oxygenated. So really pay attention to your breathing as you're walking as well. I hope you are able to incorporate some of these really easy stretches and I would encourage you not only to do them before you walk, but when you come back home, stop and do a couple of simple, especially calf and um, hamstring stretches. You can do the same stretches we do at the end of a sale class at the end of your walk as well to keep those muscles from tightening up right away. Thanks for joining me.